Hey guys, today I'll be showing you my grading deck profile. Um, I updated one because the last one was having some problems and, you know, it wasn't complete and it was missing some cards and, you know, had some problems. So, I fixed, I did get some of the cards for for the deck and also got some brand new uh, some cards and some new ide and some ideas that we I do with my, my friends at my locals. And they really liked it, and I did. I did get like um, second place on my deck. So right now I'm using. So the leader that I'm using is the promo from the draft box, Barda. Uh, it's a pure yellow deck, um, but with a few black cards. Uh, so the uh, so the leader says, uh, once certain choose of one of your opponent's battle cards with energies of three or less, and so just rest one. Now this helps you. Um, summon Torah because Torah says his effect is that you need two of your opponent's battle cards on rest. So you use, when he has one rest and the other one's not rest, use his effect and rest it. So yeah, and obviously um, his effects uh, and also his awakening when you have four less lives, you draw two and flip the card, and he becomes Saiyan Power Grade Eight Bardock. Um, it has the same effect of his um, n um, normal. Uh, his normal form, but it doesn't have a cost, you know, it has to be three or less or anything, no, it just says rest a card, and, you know, when this card battles, is uh, draw one, he's a, what, uh, 15 power, and he's a really good card, so, definitely a really strong card to be used, but yeah, uh, that's your leader, yeah, now, for, we're gonna go from, from the, uh, from one, through five, this is um, one through five costs ratio of energies, and this is all pure yellow. Uh, a really good deck, and I'm glad that I finished this deck. Okay, so for the first off, uh, we're running four copies of Planet Vegeta. Now, Planet Vegeta is a very strong card. This card can be destroyed easily. The only way to destroy this card was, is with uh, the leader, Broly. Now, Planet of Vegeta, uh, it's a field spell you play in your battle area. Uh, it reads, um, I'm going to read the first, uh, the, f the second one, then I'm reading the other one because it's much easier. When this card is placed uh, in the battle, choose a w up to one saying, um, saying with energy of four or less from your from your deck and add it to your hand. Now, obviously, you can add this for any any one that has their trait Saiyans, even your grade A's that are, you know... Uh, cost of four or less, like you know, uh, Bardock or Prince Vegeta or Faja or Tora or whoever you want, pretty much. And the other effect is, uh, at the end of your turn, switch all great apes in your battle area to active, which helps with all the blockers that you have and easily, you know, help you out more. So, yeah, four copies of this. Uh, Planet Vegeta. Uh, next up for your uh, for your draw power because you need draw power in this game. Uh, four copies of Youthful Bulma. This is the only yellow that gives you a draw power. Uh, she's a one cost and, and says uh, when you play this card you draw a card. So yeah, pretty simple. And also you can use this for comboing. Pretty simple and pretty effective. So yeah, four copies of it. Next up for your next up, I'm running four flying nimbus. Now flying nimbus is a really it's your count it's the counter card that I the counter attack that I run. Uh, it it reads negate the attack. Then if you then you may place one of your yellow cards from the hand to the drop area, and your opponent can only attack once more. Pretty simple because if your opponent has um you know like five battle cards ready to battle. Uh, you use this, negate the attack, and you can only tap one more time. That's it. Pretty much, and it's really fun, t and it's really good to use. Uh, so, four copies of that. Pretty simple. Uh, the, the last of the one cost, one energy cost is two flashes. Two on one of flashes. Um, she's a blocker. Um, this deck arounds with a lot of blocking. A lot of block blocking. So, two on one flashes is really good because... You need her for if you want for the free evolution for what's for for her power. So yeah, two copies of her. So those are all the energy one cost. Now we're going to the two energy cost. 
So next up, I'm running another blocker, which is Guinea, Family of Justice. Now, Guinea is a free blocker. Her effects read, uh, if you have a Bardock in your battle area or a leader, play this card without any, without any paying energy. So obviously your leader is Bardock, and you have a battle card, which is Bardock. So pretty much a free blocker, and she can be easily used as... Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much you're using her for a block because it's it's just like that. You can just summon her like nonstop and have met four blockers at the same time or three. Give or take of how many you draw or have in your hand. So, yeah. Four guineas. And for your super combo card, um, you're playing Shugetch. Now, Shugesh is a really good card because uh, his effect is when you have four or less lives you and you're going to combo, use him as a combo. Your That battle card or your leader gets 10,000 10, of power. And his effect reads, you can play a Saiyan card whose who's, uh, cost is uh, three or less and play it. Pretty simple. Uh, pretty simple. In fact, you can use it for... A, for, uh, you know, Guinea, uh, Faja, any of your same cards that are, you know, level lower of three. And also, you can use some of the Great Apes, uh, I think, um, one of your Great Apes, as a free cost as well. And it helps you with, you know, non, uh, for, um, for, for the Goku cards that I'm running, pretty much. So, yeah, four of, four of him, never less for him, always for him. So, yeah. Uh, last and for the uh, two car two uh, for the two energies, I'm running two Toras. Tora is effect is uh, if your opponent has two battle cards rest, you can play him without any cost. It's pretty simple because um, for the easy way to you know use him for for power for combo or for the free evolution that you're gonna be doing for him. Pretty much, yeah, so two copies of him. So those are all. So those are the two energy costs. Now for the three energy costs, this is where it's gonna get fun. Fun. I'm running four copies of the 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 Lord of the Great Apes, King Vegeta. His uh, he's a three cost energy. His effect reads: uh, When you play this card, add choose up to one of your Great Apes energies cost of five or less, and from the deck add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Pretty powerful card because you can he's your searcher for every every single Great Ape that you have. In your deck, which are from five to four, from three, such a good card, and you can easily combo this up. And also his um, his uh, his great eight um, card is uh, I think the least the less cost card in your evolution ones. But yeah, four copies of him. Next up, I'm running three copies of Hidden Power uh, Great Eight Fasha. Now here, Fasha is a really good card. Because uh, you can, when you combo with this card, her effect reads: uh, If you have a Fasha card in the field, uh, evolve her to this Fasha without any cause. And her auto is: If you did evol evolve her, uh, choose to, up to two cards of your opponent uh, battle cards and rest them, which helps you bring out Tora much easier, faster way that you can do. And it's a really good card. I love this card. So yeah. Three copies of Fasha. Uh, I've seen people run four of Fasha, four of Tora. Um, I'm trying to do the most consistent I can for each ape that I can think of because I am running a uh, there's a, lo a lot of things in this deck that you can just do crazy with just four copies of. Next up, I'm running two copies of Explosion Spirit Son Goku and two copy two copies of of uh, two copies of op non opening Son Goku. Now here's the here's why. I'm running this at two. I'm I'm seeing a lot of people running this at four. Okay, yes, it is good at four, but uh, you um I'll explain why I'm running two copies of explosive uh, spirit Sun Goku. Sun Goku explosive Sun Goku is really good because you can use um Shugesh effect and just you know combo it off and summon him and it's effectively he's, um KO or rest card of your opponent and he has barrier and he's a blocker. So you use um uh Bardock's effect to tap it, do a combo summon him for free and KO a card. Pretty simple and pretty strategic card. Now opening Son Goku, um, his effect, and you can do this with Shugesh as well. 
um, use, when you use them as a combo, or you can summon them, and you, if you use them as a combo, you can put, uh, you can summon them in rest mode, and take, and then take, if your leader is yellow, take one of your lives, and add it to your hand. That's a pretty simple card way. Yeah, it's, uh, the, it's, it's, I think it's, um, obligated, I don't remember. I have to talk to my friends about this, but yeah, um, it says then you choose up once you're, I think it's obligated, but yeah, two copies of them, it's far enough, and then two sun, uh, two sun, and the explosive spirit bombs are really good, and I'm glad that I have these here, so yeah, two copies of each, um, each one, then, um, here's the black, the black card that I'm running, I'm running two copies of Unrelentless Destructive Destruction Mirror, now this card is really good and I recommend you using this in any deck that you want to use because it has all around three. If you have three cards in your uh, drop area, throw them to, through, uh, th uh, warp the re warp all of your drop area, summon him for free, and his auto is when you overround this card, uh, your opponent has to choose one of your his cards from the hand and drop it to the to the warp area uh, to the drop area. And obviously, at the end phase, this card goes to the warp, and that's why it's really good because um, you're not using that much of your uh, your drop area, so this is good for that. So two copies of Tw Mira, you can bump this up to f uh, to four if you want to, but two is enough uh, for the consistency I'm using. But yeah, two copies. So those are all the, the three energy costs that I'm using now. For the four energy costs, I'm running three March of the Great Apes. This is now the um, the Great Ape part. Uh, a lot of the great apes are are four to three, so as a fact, we two, choose up the two great apes cards with uh, energy costs of four or less from the hand. Play them and draw two cards. Pretty powerful, but the cost is too high. But um, it helps you take uh, bring out Bardock, brings out uh, Prince Vegeta, brings uh, any of your great apes except uh, King Vegeta because King Vegeta is uh, five energy. So yeah, I seen people run this at three, but uh, four, but three is enough. Because uh, you can use uh, two, uh, one of them for energy, and then the other two for, for playability. Or either way, you can use one on each, give or take of what is. So three copies of that. Next up, I'm running the the Bardock promo, Bardock, uh, Bardock or Will, Will Vine. These are the promos for the uh, tournament packs or the judgment pack. I don't know which one it is. But I run two, um, and it's a really good guy because he has double strike and blocker. Um, you can use the effect, uh, you know, if you have a Bardock and you use this as a combo, and you can, you know, evolve him, but you're not using that, you're using, uh, uh, March of the, uh, March of the Great Apes to summon him, because he's still powerful, even without the evolution. Not like Faja and the other ones, that they need the evolution to activate their effects, but, but this one's really good. Two copies of him. I'm going to put him inside because I'm going to show you more. But next one is two copies of a Grade A Prince Vegeta. This is a, another promo card. Uh, and it reads, when you play or combo with this card, look up to the three cards from your top of the deck. Choose a Grade A, choose a grade a and add it to the hand. If you do, place one card from the hand and to the drop area. Then shuffle your deck. Now, this is pretty good because you can you see the three cards. And if you don't get the Grade A, you still get the shuffle. Pretty good. And you can use this to summon him with, again, March of the Great Apes. This is how... Now, these are the, like, the most generic Great Apes are gonna, gonna have. And he is the same thing as him. He has, uh, this one has Critical and Blocker. This one has Double Strike and Blocker. So, this one can just, uh, just drop those slides to, to the drop area. This one just takes some, like, nuts. And, um, if you have these two, you're in the field, you're golden. So, yeah, two copies of each. And for the last um, four energy, I'm running two Hidden Power Great Ape Tora. Now, Tora's a really good card because it um, does the same thing as uh, Faja, but the other effect reads, uh, when this card evolves, choose up to one of your opponent cards in rest mode and KO that card. Just like uh, uh, Explosive uh, uh, Goku does the same thing, but yeah, you have another Explosive card, so yeah, two copies of and last but not least, uh, for the five costs, I'm running four copies of the um, the absolute defense grade A King Vegeta. Now this is a really good card because his cost for evolution is three. It has the permanent all yellow Saiyans battle uh, cards in your battle area, gain barrier, 
This card cannot be choose by skills of your opponent's card effect, except him, he doesn't have barrier. So yeah, this is good for that. And also, you can use him for energy. And the other one, uh, also thing is that he has double strike. And the most powerful one is reduces the combo, co uh, the combo cost for all of your same cards from the hand. So pretty much, you're getting free combo cards. The ones that are, you know, the one cost. So this can become a free combo card. So yeah, that's pretty much how this card works. And he has, a, and is one of the strongest great apes in the deck overall because he has a 25 power boost. And you can use him with the double strike. You can use the King uh, Prince Vegeta and Marduk and be crazy. And you know, having like, uh, mm, give me a second here. Just having like these three in the field, you automatically win the game because they have, because of his effect, they gain barrier and just, you know, flat out destroy your opponent because double strike and another double strike and, you know, critical is just crazy. And also these are all, and also these are blockers. So you block these bad, you use these as bad boys. So yeah. Understand it. That's what it is. So yeah. Well, guys, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Um, yeah, this is a really good deck. It's fun to use, and it's um. If you're running the promos, there are other options for this deck, and always there's always options for everything. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you like this updated version of the deck. Um, I'm still waiting for some cards. For my for my Ray Raptor decks that hasn't come in, I might have to get my my refund for that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.